there's not a person on my team in 16 years that has consistently beat me to the ball every play. That ain't got nothing to do with talent. That's just got everything to do with effort. Nothing else. 15 straight years. 12 Pro Bowls later. If you want numbers. I done saw all of it. And the only thing that's kept me around is my effort. So when you put on this, all I ever knew, because I wasn't a number one recruit, I wasn't a number one linebacker, I wasn't even in the media guy. All I ever knew was effort will get me seen on tape. Effort will get me noticed to get to the league. Effort would one day take care of my mom and my kids. Effort. Which is between you and you. Nobody else can give you effort. Effort is with inside, man. And I'm still grinding because the next kid is talking about he getting too old. Keep watching me if I am. Nobody ain't got to convince me of what I do. I do what I do because I do what I do. Because I'm built from something. And man didn't create it. Every one of you men in here have that opportunity, man. But ask yourself the question personally. How much time you really wasted? For real. Or do you really represent this? I represent it because it's all I had. It's the only brotherhood I've ever been formed to. That's why when I see y'all perform on Saturdays, that is my piece. That's why I run to the hotels. I don't need to talk to nobody before my games. I just need to see where I once came from. I sat in these same chairs you guys sat in, man. I sat around the greatest athletes in the world. And then I found myself totally different because everybody was asking the question, who is this kid? I'm just sharing my story to tell y'all, every time you think somebody got it good, man, it ain't always good. Somebody just, some, some people just make up their mind and they just grind and say the heck with it, man. Because sometimes that's all you can do. How much of our brains are we really going to use? I use mine to tell somebody today, September 11th, when I step on the field against the Pittsburgh Citizens, if that's what God will is, there's no other man out there willing to give up what I'm willing to give up. I said that in 1993, when I said I wanted to be the greatest hurricane, and the only thing that I got in the middle of all of that distance is the only thing that follows work is results. There's no other blueprint. I ain't got no other secrets to tell y'all today. I ain't come here for nothing else but to tell you, if you want to do something, work at it. If you want a better relationship with God, work at it. You want to understand why pulling your pants up is important, why yes ma'am and no ma'am is important, why being in the meeting with complete silence when somebody walks in, because it's presence and essence that determines respect. That's so all we're talking about. The power of respect is never to disrespect. That's why I was the first one sitting down in the meeting. Um, I ain't got nothing to say. Y'all do y'all good. I got to listen. Something out there I need to grab from it. Sitting on the same football field at UM. 1993. And I made a quote. And that some people call it controversy. I call it confidence. I said that I might be the greatest player to ever walk up out of the University of Miami. I did not say that because I thought I was better than everybody else. I said that simply because I was willing to put in the work to now be back here 18 years later and tell you the only brotherhood I still have. You've got to say yes to your life. You've got to say yes. Yes to my dreams. Yes to me. Yes. I can make it. Yes, I can. Doesn't matter how many failures I've made. Doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. Doesn't matter about my defeats. Doesn't matter about what I've done. 
it sits on my chest and a shirt form. But the eye of that real hurricane is found in my heart. It's this where it all came from. The same path y'all walk. Same calves y'all going in. Same green tree y'all walking up and down. And I had one pair of jeans in college for at least two years. At least two years. Pain is temporary. It may last for a minute or an hour or a day or even a year. But eventually it will subside and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. Y'all spoiled, some of y'all spoiled, just bottom line. Your parents have done everything for you. You never had to do nothing for yourself, you're spoiled. We're gonna keep it real tonight. Some of you are spoiled brats. Every time you ever got in trouble, somebody in your house got you out of it. Every time you've done something you're not supposed to do, people say, Eric, your mother's a tyrant. You're right. She kicked me out. You're right. She's mean, but she developed a man because she put me out there and said, you're going to have to grow up. And some of you have never learned to grow up. And so every time something get hard, you quit, you call mama. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. I dare you not to go home. Somebody said, I don't go home. I feel bad. Go, go through it. You ain't gonna die at the end of pain and success. You're not gonna die because you're feeling a little pain. We have gotten to a point where it's midterms and we're moving forward. The days of you getting money, I'm not saying we quitting, but I'm saying the day has gotta go from external to internal. You have to give it everything you got. No more TV, no more parties, no more playing. If you don't have a 4.0, what you need to be doing is studying. Stop being this high school dropout. Stop giving up, stop sleeping on the streets, stop walking up and down Finkel Avenue like you ain't got nothing and get your GED. Stop being afraid to take a test. I don't care about the fact I'm in a hole now. Doesn't matter about where I am. The last chapter to my life has not been written yet. If you judge me now, you'll judge me prematurely. Stop being afraid to go to college because your daddy didn't go and your mama didn't go. I haven't exposed all my stuff yet. Stop being afraid and be the best Eric Thomas you can be. But listen to me, it's going to be hard. It took me 12 years to get a four-year degree, but I got it. And guess what? On a degree, it don't have dates. So if it took you four and it took me 12, it don't show up nowhere. I'm still in the process of transforming my life. I'm still in the process of becoming. Yes. Yes. Question is, what are you going to do with your time? What drives you? Because I feel home. And when you're home, I ain't much to say. Our work spoke for itself. That's where our swagger came from. Our swagger came from. We worked as a unit. I came to the University of Miami that was one mind, one set, one heartbeat. It was impossible to get to us. Because if you saw us somewhere, you saw 15 or 20 of us. Gotta stop leaving each other. Gotta stop hanging out without each other. The streets ain't chasing the same things you chasing. There's manic temptations out there. Just stay focused, man. As a team, though. As a team. That's all I knew when I was here. That's what kind of kept me focused. That I finally ran into a team. And you guys have that same thing. Because this you, this you will never die. It'll never die. So it's up to you to carry that. It's up to you to carry that. And every Sunday, every Saturday, everything is talked about. I gotta commit my very being to this thing. I gotta, I gotta breathe it, I gotta eat it, I gotta sleep it. And until you get there, you'll never be successful in life. But once you get there, I guarantee you, the world is yours.
You were one yesterday. I know what you carry. When you carry this you on your chest. I know what you carry, man. You carry a legacy. A legacy of greatness. And greatness is a lot of small things done well. Day after day, workout after workout, obedience after obedience. Day after day.